welcome to Oshkosh's EAA. Enjoy the videos and subscribe. All right, hi, I'm Courtney. I'm with InFlight Cam. We're here at Oshkosh, and I wanted to show you our cockpit kit for the GoPro Hero 5. So there are several different components to it. If you open up the case here, I can show you. This is everything you need to make your GoPro Hero 5 Black work in the cockpit. It includes an audio cable that's gonna pull in the audio from your plane rather than pulling in the ambient cockpit noise. So how this works, it just plugs into the side of your GoPro just like that. The other end of the cable is gonna plug into an empty headset jack in your plane. If you don't have an empty headset jack, say you're full for the day with passengers, you can plug your headset in line and that frees up a jack for you. There's also a power port there. So if you wanted to power your GoPro indefinitely, say you're going up for a three hour flight and the GoPro doesn't last that long, plug into a USB battery pack and you're good to go. It's gonna record indefinitely for you. So that is our cable. The next is the mount that we use to go into the cockpit. And let me explain this mount to you. Right here I have it assembled together. This is a suction cup, but it's a vacuum suction pump. We've modified them from the glass industry for moving large panes of glass with suction cups. We've made it smaller, so it's now 75 millimeters, and that can handle a curve in your cockpit because generally we're not working with terribly flat surfaces in a plane. So put it where you want it, pump it up, and once that's on there, that is nice and secure. That puppy's not coming off. What sets this apart as well from other suction cups is that any cup eventually is going to fall off as it loses suction as your altitude changes. So with altitude changes, pressure changes, this suction will let you know it's loosening up. You see that little red line there? That's a warning line that says pump it a couple more times, you're good for another few thousand feet. It comes with an articulating arm that has three joints, but just one knob that controls all three joints. So loosen that up. You're moving here, here, here. You can get any angle you want. Say that's how you want to be for the day. Tighten that knob down and you are set and good to go. So you've got a nice solid mount for in your cockpit. It includes both the three finger fork that you would use for like uh, GoPro, um, actually it attaches to a lot of different cameras. And then underneath it, if I was strong enough to screw that off right now, it's a quarter 20 turn. Okay. So you can actually attach all other kind of cameras as well, or even iPhone mounts. And then the last piece of the kit is our propeller filter. It's on a milled aluminum adapter. And basically how this works is it goes straight onto your camera. So you back out the set screw and it fits right on like this. And then you just tighten it up and now you're nice and solid. So the way our, our propeller filter works, it's a neutral density eight filter. Um, the way the camera reads the scene in really high light environments like it is today, it reads the scene so fast it doesn't give time for the propeller to pass all the way through. So it's reading the propeller at different parts of that scene, so you're getting the black lines in it. This basically just attenuates the amount of light entering the camera. The camera compensates by slowing that shutter just a little, and that way it gets time for the full pass of the prop. So it removes the propeller from your video and you don't get those distracting lines anymore. So that's our entire kit. The propeller filter, the ultimate suction cup that also includes the articulating arm, and our audio cable. And that kit in total is $200. So then you're all set and ready with everything you need to film in the cockpit. So thanks so much for your time. Thanks for watching. Um, we really appreciate being able to be out here at Oshkosh and show off our products and make them work with your plane. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at inflightcam.com. That's the letter N, the word flight, cam.com. Thanks. So now, it's time to stand up, move forward, and get ready. The show is about to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the most feared aircraft in the world today, your United States Air Force's F-22 Raptor.